Welcome. The following video or audio are the study of the Bible, chapter by chapter, verse by verse of the King James 1611 Bible. Our family welcomes you to our household Bible ministry time. You may watch and listen with us. Our goal has been from Genesis to the book of Revelation. Each chapter by chapter we try. And topical preaching and teaching aids you can find by searching different topics. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. Come and appreciate the word of God for our spiritual growth, our development in the word of God by these lessons. Please feel, feel, please feel welcome to upload and share our Bible study with family and friends. Like us, subscribe, write a comment, let us know you heard the message. The video or audio are not copyrighted and should be used and not abused. Thank you. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. What are you going to say to him? When you stand face to face with God, you're not going to walk up to him and say, Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, it's the man upstairs, not before a holy, righteous God, you're not. Because if you were to walk up and prepare to meet thy God, you're going to be walking up to him at the great white throne judgment. And at that point in time, you're in trouble. Because you've been in hell for an unnumbered time. And you'll stand before the Holy God without the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And you'll be told to go jump into the lake. And the lake at that point will be the lake of fire which burneth forever. I mean, quite literally, it would be God telling you to go to hell. And you don't want God to tell you to go to hell. Because you will not come out. Once you are dead and you wake up in hell... That's it. You will burn for eternity. And we come to you with the gospel by the Bible. The King James 1611 Bible to tell you that you may not go to hell. By your faith and belief on the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. You wake up in hell, it is your own fault. Because when you hear a loud mouth preacher with the Bible, that is the love of God telling you to go to all the world and preach the gospel to them. You will not have an excuse. When you hear a preacher with the Bible proclaiming the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. There is no excuse, no more. You are going to hear Jesus say that He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus speaking. You can come to God on anything you think you can come to God. And if it's not Jesus Christ, 
God will tell you and what you believe in to go to hell. Imagine you and your religion and God telling you to depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. I'm not preaching religion. I'm preaching Jesus Christ. There's a big difference. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. And you may say, well, I'm an atheist. And the Bible says the man that said in his heart there's no God is a fool. And God repeated it twice in the book of Psalms. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. And yet later on, a minor prophet said, prepare to meet thy God. So your absence of belief of God will still make you meet and die God. God doesn't go away just because you want him to go away. And I'm going to tell you, there's no hope in America because America is leaving God and Jesus Christ behind. The very source of salvation, the very hope of human beings, Jesus Christ. And if you were to die without Jesus Christ, life will be hell. It ain't hell now. And I'll tell you why this life of yours is not hell. Number one, you will have water. There is no water in hell. You may be able to, number two, to get a piece of rotten fruit left behind. There is no fruit in hell. You can come to Jesus Christ right now and be forgiven. In hell there is no forgiving. You can come to God right now and get mercy. There is no mercy in hell. A man will go to hell because he has rejected Jesus Christ. It's that simple. It's that plain that even a fourth grader You can't teach a fifth grader how to spell his name, but I can teach him how to be saved. And I have no hope in America of putting God back in here, so I will come to you and bring Jesus Christ to you. The way, the truth, and the life. The only access to God is Jesus Christ. And since you won't be in church tomorrow, we'll bring it here to you today. And congratulations can be if you're to believe on Jesus and be saved. That will be your blessed glory day. The wages of sin is death. Yet the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. It's the same message preached 2,000 years has not been changed. I'm talking about God's message. I'm not telling you what men has preached. What men has preached has changed. But the message of God through His Holy Word is Jesus saves, and Jesus saves alone. I'm not afraid of the Gospel. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to proclaim the lies of Satan. Your Pope can go to hell, but you can get saved. Allah will join his fellow, his fellow worshippers in hell. There is one true God. There is 
one access to that God. And that is Jesus Christ. And I will step out on the limb and tell you that if there's one God and one Savior, one mediator between God and man, I'm going to go far and say that there's one Bible. God in His righteousness and in His holiness sees you as a sinner for all have sinned. And because of sin, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And God says, because of your condition, come now, let us. God is reaching out to you. Psalms 1, I mean, Isaiah 118. God said it's written to you. An invitation, come now, let us. God wants to reason with you about His Son. Because God knows the only way is His Son. God knows about religions. God knows about atheism. He knows about evolution. He knows the agnostics. And on top of all that, He knows that Jesus saves, and He says, Go ye all the world and preach the gospel. Because He knows that the, the Satan is blind in your eyes. He knows that your churches are mishandling the Word. He knows that your preachers are pantyways. He knows that you think you're saved and you may not be saved. For he says, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, talking about religion and works. I never knew you. And he tells Bible believing Christians, Go ye all the world and tell them the gospel, that they may be saved. Don't tell them about politics. Don't tell them about education. Tell them about Jesus. There's no sweeter, greater name upon the lips of men but Jesus Christ. And the profession of Jesus Christ upon your lips is to happen before you die. The Bible does say that every knee shall bow, and every lip and mouth shall profess that Jesus is Lord. And with that profession, many of you will still go off in the lake of fire which burneth forever. Now you can profess Jesus is Lord today and Savior and be saved. Or you can wait till you stand before Him when it's too late. There are so many religions, and yet there's one Savior. There are so many ways given by Satan, and yet God has one way. There are so many lies by Satan, and yet there's the truth of God. Man has many ways to get to God, and yet Jesus said, I am the only access to God. No Jesus, no God. No blood, no salvation. That includes your water baptism, your church attendance, your tithes, your offerings, your charity. That will not get you into glory. There are no Americans in heaven. There are no Baptists. 
righteous in heaven. Born again Bible believing Christians are in heaven. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever, that's you, you don't even have a name if you're lost. You're nameless. When Jesus told us about a man that went into hell, He did not give us the name of that man, but He told us about Lazarus. You lose your identity in hell. But you remember, you remember your kindred. I got five brethren. The mercy of God is that He wants us to tell you about Jesus. Because you're not going to go search out Jesus on your own. You're going to find a Jesus of a department store. The Jesus that you want. The Jesus that approves of your sin. This week, Jesus rides a Harley. Who knows what Jesus will be next week? Yet, but the only Jesus that God will approve of is the Jesus that is the Son of God, which is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And if you think the Bible says, I've got the Bible here, come on, open it up and show me. Here it is. Well, the Bible says, here it is, come show me. Open up to the book, the chapter, and the verse number. And what I proclaim to you is out of the Bible. Man is born to die. Thanks to Adam. And your death can be changed by what you do with Jesus. You can change destinations after death. You can say, I don't want to go to hell. God says, my son. But I don't want your son. Then you go to hell. But if you want Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you can go to heaven. Believing on Jesus as your sacrifice, as God's atonement for sin, you will go to heaven. You can ask God now to save you by the word of God that Jesus can wash away your sins. Now, if you're not a sinner, God's not interested in you. Sinners need only apply. And when I mention the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm not talking about something that you can take orally. The blood of Jesus Christ is to be taken by faith. has set forth a way to Him. The way to God is Jesus Christ. The sinless perfection that is God. And God is Jesus. save you. It's the Lamb of God, 
that can save you. Trust God. Believe on Jesus. Be saved. That simple. Trust God. Believe in religion and be lost. Salvation is so simple. Just come to God as you are. Come to God as the sinner you are. Adam and Eve stole one fruit. That was it. That made them sinners. If you ever stole anything, you are a sinner. If you told one lie, I didn't take that cookie. You're a sinner. Hi, boss. I can't come to work. <coughs> I'm feeling sick. That's a lie. You're a sinner. You are guilty before God. <laughs> God is so great. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Aren't you glad? Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, that's not that great. But let the grape to her. Yeah, okay? let's give grape to the You grape. don't touch it. You got it? <laughs> okay. God is so good. You have, have, a, good, a, nice have a good trip. Take care. You don't want to have anything to do with God and Jesus and the Bible? You can burn. And you can burn for all eternity. And in hell you will not have God and you will not have a Bible. You can be the atheist you want in hell. But what a price to pay. Just because you don't want to have anything to do with God, you can burn in hell for all eternity. What a price. And yet, you want love and compassion, and that is wrought by God through Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord. woman wants to be loved. She wants to be loved correctly by the right man. And a woman without Jesus is a monstrosity. Because here's a man that can love you purely and not for your body.